right? So here's a little LED module that I've made and I want to make it waterproof. So I designed the board so that it would fit inside half inch heat shrink tubing, um, as you see here. So you put the board inside and then you apply a little bit of heat and um, then you seal off the ends just by basically uh, apply a little bit of pressure to it while it's still hot. And you do the same for the other end. The other end has wires coming out of it. So you also do a little bit of, um, you put a little bit of silicone in there and it'll be nice and waterproof. Um, and if you're daisy chaining these modules, then of course you give it silicone treatment at both ends. As I mentioned, this is meant to be used as a bicycle light, so it needs to go outdoor and this is a wet climate where it rains often, so I want to make sure that it survives that, that you don't like freak out and panic just because it starts to rain while you're out pedaling and you want to keep your lights on. So it has to sort of work outdoor in a wet climate. So an immersion test is strictly speaking not necessary, but it's just nice to know that, that it can deal with that also.